back once and for all is by getting every single eligible New Yorker vaccinated. And breaking tonight, just into our newsroom moments ago, Governor Andrew Cuomo's letter of resignation sent to State Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart Cousins and State Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty. In the brief note dated today, Cuomo telling them both it was a pleasure to serve beside them. And in just hours, Governor Cuomo officially steps down and Kathy Hochul will be sworn in. News 12 Sabrina Franza explains what we can expect from our next governor on her historic first day. Sabrina morning, New Yorkers will wake up to a new governor. It means an end to what has long been an all-boys club. After three terms, Governor Cuomo leaves office at 11.59 p.m. The attorney general's report was designed to be a political firecracker on an explosive topic, and it worked. Delivering his farewell address today, still fighting the explosive report, finding he had sexually harassed 11 women. Now, Kathy Hochul taking his place, the first woman Have to hold the post day. here in New York. But I think the ascension of women and women of color across the state of New York is something that continues to be this new phenomenon. City Council member and likely next Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson says she's not concerned the governor, a Buffalo native, will forget Believers. about downstate. And I really want to make sure we focus on economic development and jobs. Current Brooklyn VP and Democratic nominee for mayor Eric Adams also logs a to-do list with the first female governor. Number one, uh, crime. In a sure sign of support for the boroughs, Hochul says she'll choose a lieutenant governor from the area. Assemblymember Rodney Spichaud Hermelin, just one name being floated. My focus right now is my work in the assembly. She is uh, looking at different people in the outer boroughs. Now known for traveling to each of New York's